I've shared over 400 sustainable swaps, habits, and much more that we could all potentially implement into our daily, weekly, and monthly lives. But what habits do I do on a weekly basis in autumn? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you an updated version of the weekly habits video I made back in March, covering the habits I still do, new ones, and dig a little deeper into explaining exactly how I go about doing some of these things. A huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and always supporting my content. If you're new here and you like things all sustainable living, meal prepping, eating seasonally, and much, much more, then please give this video a like if you do like it and subscribe so that you never miss another video. It really helps me in that YouTube algorithm. So firstly, one of the things I do in autumn is go around and clean up any apples and compost them. Hopefully I will have picked them all by now, but sometimes they, they just ripen too quickly. So I make sure that they're composted and the ones that I don't, I use. I'm also a massive fan of preserving, fermenting and pickling food. This is a great way to make food from the summer last much, much longer. So I love pickled red onions, I love pickled carrots and making hot sauce and fermenting sauerkraut. It's just such a great way to use food so it doesn't go to waste and have it for much longer. I also now clean with a mop that has a reusable or refillable container so that I don't have to use any kind of floor cleaners or anything like that and the head is washable as well. And because in the autumn the dogs come in and they just get so much mud all around the house as well as our muddy boots so it really is pretty important. So another weekly habit or bi-weekly habit is to do my laundry and this does change around autumn time winter because it gets so much colder I can't dry my clothes outside so I dry them inside instead but I'm also trying out a different laundry detergent I'm trying this one that I found in my local zero waste shop it's called bio I think that's it for a cleaner environment it's very plain packaging it's just literally a brown paper bag and it's washing powder I used to use small um, but I thought, is it better to buy it in person than to have it shipped to you? I'm not quite sure. I'm still a big fan of small, completely. I just wanted to try something different and just to see if I could find something my parents would use as well. So this is manufactured, environmentally responsible, non-biological laundry products that are UK made, effective, biodegradable and hypoallergenic, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go and do my laundry now. But I just wanted to show you what I'm just trying out I haven't used this yet I'm literally just about to and it's because I also forgot to order small so we're gonna give that a go Now I am still growing sprouts in the autumn. The only thing that changes is the kind of sprouts that I am growing. I tried to go for a nice mix because I just want to get as many fresh things in as possible and as much nutrients because after the summer sort of, you know, harvest is over, you don't have so many fresh vegetables to enjoy and the variety. So yeah, it's just a, a health thing, but also I just love growing my own sprouts. They're so cute and delicious. I'm also now trying a solid bar soap out because, well, you're paying for the bar soap, you're not paying for water. I used to be a little skeptical about these things, but I now do my, you know, any washing each night so that it's prepared for the morning and I have a nice clean kitchen. And I've been using these brushes for a while, which I, I love. I've been trying out these plastic free, vegan, cruelty free dishwasher tablets and yeah, they're pretty great. I got them from Leo subscription. I've also been reusing any containers that my family have been using and these plastic peanut butter ones are actually really good for fermentation. If you've watched my channel for a while, you're probably quite aware now that I'm a big fan of meal prepping and food prepping. And this is mostly because one, it's convenient and during the week when I'm busy with work or you know just doing things, I wanna make sure I'm being able to eat healthy food or just being able to eat food that I don't have to, you know, make every single night. It also really helps with food waste. 
it helps me to plan ahead. It helps me to make sure I'm only buying food that I'm definitely gonna eat. I think it's just a travesty when we waste any kind of food. So that's what I'm gonna do now, which is actually gonna be another video. I'm gonna do another meal prep video. I also like to support local independent businesses like my zero waste shop and replace the items that I buy from them frequently like this soap. I've got a lot of cleaning today. One of my favourite things is cleaning my bathroom because even though it's a horrible job, once your bathroom is clean and you have a shower, you just feel a lot cleaner, you know? I'm still using NEAT, which are these like concentrated bottles and glass that you just fill into one of your sprays and then you just fill it with water. It's cheaper because you're just paying for the concentrate rather than paying for a whole spray bottle and the water that goes in there and the solution. So I'm still using that each week. I'm also trying out a new toilet paper. It's recycled toilet tissue and it just comes in this paper so that they're not individually wrapped. It's just one thing that's wrapped and everything is made from recycled fiber. It's all made in the UK. I got it from my local zero waste shop. Again, I'm just seeing and trying new things just to see if they're gonna be more sustainable because I'm buying them all at once rather than having different things shipped to my house. I'm just trying it out. If anyone knows actually what is more sustainable, I would obviously love to hear. There are lots of companies who have carbon neutral shipping, but I'm not entirely sure what that really means. I should know, and I'm gonna do some research into that afterwards. I think this is a good indicator that I need to do some research. But yeah, I just thought I'd try these out and see if they're a better, better option. Anything that's made. Okay, the time has finally come. If you've watched me for many years, you'll know that I go on and on about my Pepsi jumper because I thrifted it and obviously Pepsi, probably an evil company and probably they are an evil company. <laughs> so I've been saying how I want to cover this up for ages and I finally got a patch that summarizes what I would rather put out into the world. Sometimes hiking, always biking. I love to be outside and cycling and try and cycling more than getting any other transport because for me it is possible and it is accessible and I just want to do my part however I can. So I think that this might be an iron on rather than a stitch on so we're gonna go and give that a go and if it doesn't work obviously then we'll stitch it on but it's good because then I can just put it over the top I don't have to take out any of the Pepsi stuff so we're gonna go give that a go finally each week I or each month I do some repairing of any of the clothes that I have that get holes or buttons fall off or any of those kinds of things because I want to prolong the life of my clothes because well the more value we put onto those items the better we take care of them and the longer that they last and well, what could be more sustainable than that? Okay, so it turns out that it was not an iron-on one <laughs> after all of that. So I've got my mum's sewing box and we are gonna give it a go sewing this patch on instead, which is probably a good thing because I'm not gonna take this off. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Not the absolute best that you've ever seen, but it works. Can you believe I have finally done it? <laughs> Only took about two years. I'm still washing my hair once a week with a shampoo bar. I really like this co-wash bar from Etik that I'm still using, but I am looking for a conditioner. I also like to store things correctly so that no food ever goes to waste. And I love to use anything that's just still in my fridge, leftovers. Food waste really is a, a big thing for me. So I use reuse any containers, any jars to store that food as well. And of course, reading. I am constantly trying to learn. I'm constantly trying to support other creators like Aja Baba, who's written this wonderful book called Consumed about colonialism, climate change and consumerism. I'm also trying to just learn as much as possible and then share that knowledge with anyone who wants to, to listen. And the last thing is I constantly talk to creators and just trying to have conversations with other people in this community, share knowledge and just create a beautiful collective. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. You can connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content, manage your members and send email communications and leverage audience insights. 
I love creating a community over on Squarespace because I can use their fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. So if you're interested, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash sustainably vegan to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.